this is the plaintiff, Catherine David. She says she purchased a golden retriever puppy from the defendant, and within 24 hours, the poor little guy became very sick. She brought it to her longtime trusted vet, and he told her the puppy was very ill, and they had to put her down. This woman has a history of selling sick puppies to people. She doesn't want anyone else to suffer the same heartbreak she has, and is suing the defendant for the $4,151 she's owed. This is the defendant, Doreen Kehoe. She says she's been breeding dogs for 40 years, and her puppies are the best around. She sold the plaintiff a beautiful, healthy pup, and what happened to her was tragic, but she had nothing to do with it getting sick. This woman has tried to massacre her stellar 40-year reputation, and she's here to clear her good name once and for all. She's accused of selling a sickly puppy. All parties, please sit your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff bought a golden retriever pup from the defendant, and it became so sick it had to be put down. The defendant says her dogs are the best in town. It's the case of one very sick puppy. You're welcome, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Catherine David, you are suing Doreen Kehoe for $4,151 that you are out as a result of what you say was a, a sick puppy that she sold you. Tell me what happened. That is correct. On January 15th of 2017, I answered an ad in the Long Island Newsday for Golden Retrievers. I contacted that phone number, which turned out to be Doreen Kehoe. I made arrangements with her after speaking with her on the phone to visit these puppies. I did so on that day, visit the Golden Retriever puppies, and was very happy with the puppy that I saw, or puppies that I saw. We discussed adoption, and I left a $200 deposit for the dog, because at that point, that puppy was not ready to come home. I waited the recommended period of eight weeks to pick up the puppy, which I did on February 18th, and I gave her the remaining amount of $1,600. So it was a total purchase price of $1,800? Correct. All right. And is this your first golden retriever or no? No, this is not. This would be my third golden retriever. I have had two priors, which I have also adopted through Newsday and felt very confident in applying right, so to you, this ad. So you bring the puppy home, and what happens? On what day do you bring the puppy home? I brought the puppy home on a Saturday. Which was February what? February 18th, which okay. was uh, a long weekend. I made arrangements for the dog to see my vet on Monday, February 20th. The dog went to my vet on February 20th. The dog was examined, and I left a fecal sample with the dog, with the, with the, with vet. the vet, excuse me, with the vet, <laughs> to be examined. And I was informed the following day that the sample that I had left showed that the dog had giardia and coccidia, which were parasites. Okay. I took the dog back to the vet. Was the dog showing any symptoms? Yes, she was, as a matter what of fact. What was she showing? She was showing a lack of appetite. She was um, having very loose, watery stools. Consistently. Consistently in and, out, in and out of the house, which is normal with a puppy, which was to be expected. But the fact that she wasn't eating and um, just that it didn't seem like that that's what a puppy should be right. doing at this okay, early so stage. Okay, so you bring the dog back to the vet. Yes. And? And the, the vet prescribes um, an antibiotic for a certain amount of days, for five days, with a recheck thereafter with another fecal sample to make sure that, in fact, this parasite is gone. Okay. Again, the dog is not responding to these medications, so I had to go back to the vet once again. Did you go back five days later, or did you go back before that? Um, I went back five days later. Okay, that was okay. your checkup time. Yeah. And checkup what happened? Time. And the same thing the loose stools, not eating, and the vet then gave me an injection for an antibiotic to sort of bring the puppy sort of back to um, what he thought would be Gave uh, the dog thriving. an injection. It okay. Gave the dog an injection and medication and suggested that I change her diet okay. to a prescription diet to help her along, okay. which is what I did, to of no avail. The All dog right. continued with not eating. So then eating. you took the dog to a specialist in neurology, veterinary medicine, and what yes. happens? They gave her some intravenous as well to sustain her while she was there. And while she was there, she sees 
several times. Okay. So what happened? When the veterinarian, Dr. Bilderbank, called me, she told me what they had seen, and um, she said that um, it, these seizures were something that um, she really didn't feel that the puppy was going to recover from. The dog was walking around in circles, was drooling at the mouth, was not responsive. She said, we can go further with some more testing if you like. She said, if you had a black American Express card, I could not guarantee whether or not these further expensive tests would show anything. So the puppy was put down? Yes. When do you notify her that all this is happening? Two days before. And I, no I called her that morning when the specialist called me to say, this is what our observations were from the night before, and we have no guarantees. Did you call her before making the decision? Yes, I did. Oh, OK. I and did. did and you I asked her. Do you want the puppy back? Do you want the puppy okay. back? And, and she said, do not bring that dog here. OK. So right. my, my decision was made at that I got point. It. All right, Ms. Keogh, let me talk to you. How long have you been breeding, uh, breeding dogs? Uh, approximately 40 years. Wow, that is a long time. That is a long time. You don't even look old enough to Thank be able you. to have I been doing it. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, so when you first hear from her that there's a problem, by the way, this dog was part of a litter. This dog is uh, part of a litter of, I would say, seven puppies. Okay, did anything happen? Did you find out about anything, any of the other dogs in this litter? Well, her neighbor actually owns the brother of, of this puppy who passed, but um, Okay, I, so I your neighbor had the puppy. brother? Yes. Did you know that? Yes. Oh, okay. And how did that dog pass? Uh, that dog did not pass. Oh. Th that dog was infected as well with Giardia and... But well, it lived? Yes, it did. Okay. Did another dog b from that, that one litter of the die? Litter, yes. One of the other puppies from that litter, I held back and watched and kept, and she did die. In she, your, okay, she died yeah, with you. she died you had, in my home. All right, had her dog shown any signs of a problem? No, there were, ne there were never any signs were of a problem. Were the dogs seen by a veterinarian and yes, tested? Yes, they, they were. They were it was an amazing litter. Well, it except was for the ones the that nicest. died. All right, no, so no, now. No, that's not true. Okay. What, what do you mean? It is Well, because I'm going to tell you, I, I took my puppy who passed, and I sent it up to Cornell University, to do a necropsy, which is the same as an autopsy, only it's on an animal instead of a, a person, because I know of this from my 40 years. And they sent me a report. I said, I need to know why this puppy died, because then I had called to see how their puppy was doing, because I just felt like I wanted to call them and see. I think I had spoken to the neighbor or something. I said, let me call them and see how they. And so I got on the phone, and I called. And I said, hi, it's Doreen. I said, I just want to know how your puppy's doing, because I'm assuming this puppy is just amazing, just like her neighbor's puppy and all the other puppies, except for this puppy. And her husband starts screaming, like, your puppy's in the hospital, and it's dying. Do you want it back? And I'm like, oh. I was in shock, because really, this was, I had no idea. I had no idea what was going on. Okay. So you call Cornell, and what do they tell so, you? No, they send me back the report that uh, the puppy died from a virus. I was devastated. I was as devastated as they were. OK, but what's your defense? My defense is I had no idea. OK, because you're, her puppy, after 40 years in the business, no. you've got to know no. that whether you have an idea is irrelevant. No. No. I mean, that's relevant to no. whether you're a good you person. Can, if, can you look at me and know if I have cancer? You don't. OK. What's better, buying a dog from a breeder or getting it from a rescue place? A uh, breeder. Why do you say? I've had all my dogs from a breeder, and they just turn out to be the most loving dogs. Mm, OK. Uh, rescue dogs. They don't have homes. It's more, uh, it's inhumane breeding, I think. I think rescue dogs need homes just like the breeders. You don't, you don't have to really pay for rescues, and so it's, a, it's not a By the way, California is following that law now. I agree, rescue. I have to tell you, I've only, I've almost only had rescues, and they are unbelievable. Uh, going inside the courtroom. I don't think you're understanding what the law says. Oh, it, the it, law. If, if, yeah, the law. Oh, law. Well, law. You know, you want I mean, to that's why we're here, law. hon. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I don't. No one is accusing you of deliberately giving a sick Thank animal. You. That's not what's happening. <laughs> right. Okay. What they're saying is, if the animal's unfit for purchase, according to New York state law, if the animal is unfit for purchase at the time of, a, of the purchase, then you're supposed to reimburse them the cost of the animal plus veterinary expenses up to the cost of the animal. So you're, you're suing for more than that. But that's what the law says they're able to do. But I placed in the home and in the hands of this couple a beautiful, 
healthy vet checked puppy. Apparently not, because its apparently, own brother had the same virus uh, that this dog died out of. So apparently, so two out of the litter. You're the one who gave me that evidence that two out of the litter no, had the problem. You're, you're so not, I don't have any reason to believe it happened at their house if two from no, your not, litter had I'm the problem. I'm telling you, I have a necropsy to say that it was a virus. We don't know where the virus came from, Judge. They don't know. Cornell University doesn't know. They're top in the field. I don't know. Okay. They don't know. And neither does the vet know or the specialist. Or so the then under your theory, so long as a puppy doesn't look sick when you hand it over, they have no recourse because Those who knows where they got sick? We don't know. I don't know. Nobody she knows. She doesn't know. You don't know. You know, the people in the ivory tower don't know. Nobody knows because so long as it's happy and healthy the minute she takes the dog. That means no one could ever sue under the statute because nobody's going to buy an unhealthy dog that's visibly unhealthy. So you are wrong in your interpretation of how the law works. I, okay? I'm, not, I'm not trying to interpret the law. I'm trying well, to share I am. with you the I'm trying very desperately you know, to interpret the law. Let me see all of your vet bills, please. Do you have the, uh, what Cornell sent you? May I see it? I also have a picture of her puppy and her neighbor's puppy before they even picked them up. I mean, these are beautiful, healthy, robust, amazing puppies. They always are. By puppies. the time that you sell them, at the moment that you're selling them, nobody would buy $1,800 for a puppy who's walking in circles seizing. Of course the puppies are lovely. That's not evidence in this case. It Judge, doesn't... the puppy got sick after she purchased the puppy. Okay. My hands Can I ask tied. you a question? What evidence do you have of that? Because I got evidence that you gave me to the contrary, which is that the puppy's own brother died from no, a virus. No, the puppy's brother did not die. Her neighbor's puppy didn't die. No, the die. one you sent for the e-cropsy. The puppy, the puppy that I kept. Yeah, that's yeah. the same litter, right? Yeah. Oh. So. Okay, <laughs> so. Where, I don't know where that leads you, but I know where it leads me. All right. <laughs> Okay, folks, I'm finding in your favor in the amount of the 1800 that you paid for the puppy. You paid a total of 18, right? Yes. And, um, plus $1,800 worth of your bills. All right, so you tried to do everything that you could. The little bit extra of that is on you, which I know you, you gratefully would have preferred that the dog had lived and, and you have no regrets and you know, you're, you're a good dog owner that you went that extra mile. And then you're also a sane person. Um, where, you know, you didn't make this, you know, a, a, a horrible hit that's hard to recover from for no good reason. I'm finding in your favor in the statutory cap of the $3,600, okay? Thank you. Verdicts for the plaintiffs. Good luck, Thank you, folks. Judge. Thank you. So the plaintiff gets $3,600 back, Ms. Keogh. How are you? I'm good, um, thank you. It's a shame you obviously are sorry what happened, I know. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, it's devastating for me as well as them. And I'm glad they're getting compensated. Okay. Well, all right. You got to do it. Uh, okay. Whatever. No question, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. No all question right. at all. It's a shame that you ended up in court then. No, no, no. It's fine. I'm happy to be here. Right. Okay. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Mr. David? Hello. All right. I guess the question is have you replaced that puppy yet? Yes, we have. You got another one. Yes, now. we have certainly did. And you're yes, like, happy. Uh, we, we very had, happy we with it. We yeah. had to, Riley. Yes, know. we've it's always had golden retrievers in our home uh, for the last uh, 30 years, hate to oh, say. <laughs> they yeah, are. It's terrible losing a puppy. It is. It's a heartbreak. I know. It's a heartbreak. She was beautiful, too. Yeah. 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 Well, you did yeah. your best. Yes, yeah. we did. Yes, we did. Good for you. Yes, and thank I thank you so Judge much. Marilyn uh, very much for being here. She She's a dog lover, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. All righty. Harvey? Now, I will tell you this, even though I am a big rescue guy and I really believe, I mean, they will never forget you rescued them. It's weird, but I'm telling you it's true. That said, um, there are states that actually give you special rights when you do buy from a breeder where you have certain automatic rights if the dog gets sick. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.